Hey, this is Mark. We're going to take a look at building in Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio 2017. I've used GitHub Desktop to pull down NiFi, Minify, C++. In Tools and Features, you can select See, Make, Support. I suggest you do that before you attempt to build. But we're going to load up the project. With See, Make, Support, it's able to pull in the project and identify that it is a See, Make project. So right now it's going through and loading up. So what what you, what first thing you have to do is select in this menu 64 release. We're going to remove debug because x64 release has debug information in the binaries for now. When when you, it first loads up, it looks for the CMake settings file which has those two configurations. You can see it selects the options for the CMake arguments. And we're using Ninja as the generator. Uh, this menu will be a little bit different. You'll only see these two options, generate and I find Minify C++. In many cases, when you first load it up, it'll actually generate what's called a CMake cache. That's a cache of all the options and selected variables. Uh, when that's complete, you'll have this full menu Step two to actually build the project is build only. In many cases, if you're running this from the command line, it'll build, it'll see the dependency tree, but Visual Studio 2017 won't for whatever reason. I, I think that's a known issue. So you may have to build curl external first, but once you do that and that's complete, you should be able to run NiFi Minify at exe. For the sake of time, I've already done that. It could take, depending on, on your machine, um, it can take a little bit of time, but once it's actually built, you'll see build succeeded. I'm going to open up File Explorer and go to my profile and traverse. So this is this path user is Mark Parisi. See, make builds, the build hash, the build and x64 release is the build directory. If you were to run this manually, you could specify that from the command line with CMake using the source directory, wherever that is, as, as the directory of source. But in here, we'll have all the build artifacts, including the main executable. You can run CPAC after that. Uh, to do that, go to Tools, Visual Studio Command Prompt. That, you'll have to go through extensions and updates. Go online. You can download that and install it. That's actually much easier than command. Let's go ahead and switch to that directory. And just run CPAC. We have a Wix file. Wix is a, is a generator toolkit that allows us, you'll have to install Wix toolset. I think wixtoolset.org, you'll have to download this and install it for your distro. Once you do that, sorry, let me find, here we go. Once you do that and you run CPAC in that release directory, it'll actually build an MSI. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna traverse to that directory that's in program files. Maybe x86, I didn't even notice. So it is here. So what you'll have here is, in this case, this is a distribution with J and I support. Your bin directory will have that executable. So let's, let's go through this a little more slowly. So what I'm actually doing now, uh, let's take, stop this for a second. All right, close this out. We're gonna open up another command. go. 
Sometimes control C doesn't work too well through the command prompt. I suggest you do it manually. Or rather do it uh, through a regular command prompt or PowerShell. Let's take a step back and look at the configuration. Notepad. So, look, actually, I have Minify Home set. This is a case, this is kind of a unique case um, because we use a, a, an environment variable to override the location. Um, so let's actually modify this for us. Because this kind of gives you an intro and know how things work. We're going to change this environment variable real time to the program installation directory. You shouldn't have to do this necessarily, but I've done it. Um, we're going to close this out. So now we're in program files. Okay, so something about this configuration is wrong, which is why it's giving me an error. Um, but let's see if we can go back and fix this. There may be more to the issue. I haven't actually looked at it. more to the problem. Let's see if we can figure this out. I'm going to run this as administrator. I want to make sure I have all I have access to do what I need to here. fix the issue. I don't think it had access to write to certain directories. Um, oh yeah, it didn't have access to create these directories for the repositories. Okay, so now that we've sort of triaged real time in a video, let's take a look at the actual flow that we're running. So the flow file contains information on what to run. So in this case, this flow file is taking security events um, for Windows tail event log and logging them out. So for example, this is this is writing log to send it out instead of to our log file. You can see here that we have some on, on my machine, my VM, Windows Dev, we have an informational event log, uh, source is the MSI installer, and that, that's printed out. Um, this flow file, conf.yaml, or config.yaml rather, is set in the conf directory. So once you've run your MSI, you've installed it, the base install of a configuration file will actually be pretty empty, so you won't get much output. Um, if you build it, if you build in this in the case where uh, where we have JNI, you have to or with JNI enabled. So, for example, if you look at this, I think JNI is enabled in the in the J in this CMake settings. To really have Java support, you have to have Java the JDK and Maven installed. So I would suggest that if you're going to run this without without those, you have you should turn this off and then run your build. Um, but once you have that MSI and you've installed it, you should be able to just you you should be able to run it by running minify at the command line and be able to actually get the output. So in this case, again, this flow is just getting security event logs and then outputting them to uh, log attribute, which is a which is a processor. Um, that's a quick walkthrough for Windows support. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me.